Hello, and welcome to this year's 2021 Laker Loop Half Marathon. My name is Aaron Andrews. I'm the head girls cross country and track coach here at Spring Lake, as well as this year's race director. I'd like to first thank you all for joining us on the special event with all proceeds going to both our track and cross country programs. Today, I'd like to go over a few details leading up to Saturday's race. Packet pickup. Packet pickup will be on Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. at Central Park. We'll be using the West Pavilion where you can access using the West Drive near Ace Hardware. Runners may also pick up their packet at 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Uh, the morning of the race. Runners will be receiving their shirts and bibs at this time. This year's course is very similar to years past, but we do have a new start and a new finish area. Please look over the map so you know this area change. Runners will also be going around Spring Lake, going into Fruitport, then into Ferrysburg, around the bridge back into Spring Lake. Please note, the runners will be going over driveways and side roads during this route. We will also have restrooms at the start of the race at mile two, mile four, and mile 10 of the course. There will be aid stations every two miles where runners may receive water or Gatorade. Parking for this year's event will include both the west and east parking lots of Central Park. The central parking area around the pickup balls will be partially closed as it is a start and finish area for our race. Any extra or overflow parking may go into the Wesleyan Church, which is Kinney Quarter to uh, Central Park. Awards for this year will go to the overall winners of our race for both male and female runners, as well as uh, our age divisional winners, uh, second place and third place as well. Weather for this year appears that we're going to have potential rain, and our event will not be canceled because of rain unless there is some torrential downpours or even uh, threat of severe weather. This would be called at the morning of race day and all runners will be notified if that is the case. Our anticipation is to hold the race in its entirety on Saturday. This year, I would like to also talk to my new runners, whether you are a first time half marathoner or you're one of our uh, cross country boy or girl runners this year. Preparation for an event like the half marathon doesn't start the morning of or the night of. It starts today. Please note that you should start drinking water uh, anywhere from 48 to 72 hours of a um, longer run as you will be going on Saturday. So please make sure you start drinking and hydrating properly to have a successful race on Saturday. Also, runners should start eating really well in the next day or two because it will be within that 48 hour window. Protein, carbs, these are all good things to put in your body leading up to a race like the half marathon. Stay away from things like junk food, pizza, soda, all things that would actually affect you come Saturday morning. Lastly, a thing that we typically overlook as runners, and that would be sleep. Please know sleep is an important factor in a successful race uh, the size of a 13.1 mile race. So make sure you get six to eight hours starting at night, leading up to Friday night, and going into Saturday morning. This year, we have over 100 participants in our race. We are excited to have all of you join us in this special event. Please invite all friends, families, and anybody in the community to come cheer us on as we celebrate this amazing thing called the Half Marathon and our 10 year anniversary at the Laker Loop uh, Half Marathon. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any time the email below. And we look forward to having you join us on Saturday. We'll see you then.